Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Dickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you for listening and joining us on this Tuesday evening for prayer. Thank you all very much for joining us. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. The Bible said, let everything that had breath praise ye the Lord, for his praise shall continually, continually be in all of our mouths today. It is always a blessing, brothers and sisters. It is always a blessing to be a part of the house of the Lord and to be counted amongst the living and not amongst the dead. There's always something for us to be thankful for, brothers and sisters, something for all of us, each of us, to give God the glory and praise that he and only he so richly deserves. And in doing so, he will make his home with us so that we can experience both his fullness and his wholeness. Bless his holy name today. Amen. I have to first begin by giving honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me to preach his word, which is the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world today. Amen. And I want to thank you again, all of you for joining us tonight uh, so that we can keep each and every single one of us up in prayer. Amen. Now, tonight's scriptures will come from 2 Corinthians, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And also from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all go before the throne tonight. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, blessed Lord. We thank you, gracious God, as we come before you tonight, Lord, as a fellowship. We come before you tonight, Lord, before we ask for anything. We come before you, Heavenly Father, to tell you thank you. We want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father, for protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger, both the seen and the unseen. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, for all of the provision and the protection that you have provided all of us, Lord, all the way up until this point. But none of us would be here right now, Heavenly Father, without you. None of us, Heavenly Father, would be here speaking and breathing and eating and walking and talking had it not been for you standing in the gap. Amen. Fighting the enemy at every corner and turn. We thank you for your hedge of protection that is around each and every single one of us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for covering our families, Lord. We thank you. For covering us on these highways and byways when so many other people, Lord, have lost their lives and are losing their lives on these roads, Lord, to traffic accidents, Heavenly Father, to incidents, Lord, things happening in nature, just catastrophic illnesses happening all of a sudden, Lord. But we want to thank you. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for keeping us. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for staying the hand of the enemy, keeping us safe, preserving us, amen, for times such as this. For us to do the work that you have called each of us to do, we thank you today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for being the Lord, our God, because besides you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. There is no other because you are the only one God, the only true God, the one living God. And beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. For you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are our Jehovah Nisi, Heavenly Father. You are our banner. Heavenly Father, you are Jehovah Jireh, amen, our provider. You are Jehovah Rapha, amen, our healer. You are Elohim, you are El Shaddai. And we come before you tonight, Heavenly Father, to tell you thank you. To tell you thank you, Heavenly Father, for saving us uh, because we are only here because you loved us. Uh, not because we had loved you, not because we have been obedient, but only because of your love, your mercy, and your grace. Heavenly Father, you gave us your only begotten son, you you sacrificed him, Heavenly Father. You sacrificed yourself for us, Heavenly Father, so that we can have eternal life. For no one has done such a thing, Lord. No one can do such a thing, Lord. Only you, Heavenly Father. Uh, for you have loved. Uh, your word says 
the backslider, Lord, you have married the backsliding church, Heavenly Father. So in spite of all of our faults, in spite of all of our imperfections, Lord, our iniquities, Heavenly Father, our sins, Lord, you stay faithful to us, Lord, when we are not faithful to you. So how can we, Heavenly Father, turn you down, Heavenly Father, when you have given us so much, Lord, things that we are not able to even repay, Heavenly Father. You have given us more, Heavenly Father, than we've ever been able to do and ever can do. But we just assemble here tonight, Heavenly Father. We gather here tonight to tell you thank you, Lord, from the bottom of our souls, Lord, from the bottom of our spirits, Lord, for the things that you have done for us and are doing for us. We bless your holy name today in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for being our creator, for you are the creator and the maker of all things, for there is none like you, Father God. You made all that is in heaven and all that is on earth, for you are all that was, all that is, and all that is to come. But Heavenly Father, your word says that you make all things new and that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Only you, Heavenly Father, can separate the light from the darkness. Only you, Heavenly Father, have separated the firmaments from the firmaments for you are the most high God and how excellent is your name, the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you are Yahweh. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are the endless one, Heavenly Father. You are the omniscient and you are the omnipotent and only you, Heavenly Father, and only your reign shall be forevermore. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, for being your people. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing all of our cries this morning. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing and accepting our supplications, Lord, and delivering us, Lord, from our enemies. So we want to thank you, Lord, for delivering us, Lord, from the bondage of the day, from the bondage of slavery, the bondage of oppression, the bondage of depression, the bondage, Heavenly Father, of taking one's own life, Lord, taking the life of other people, Lord, and our anger and indignance with one another, Lord, and jealousy and rage and envy, Lord. We want to thank you for delivering us from those spirits, Lord. Thank you for delivering us from the spirit of Cain, Heavenly Father, uh, the spirit that desires to kill, steal, and destroy their brothers and sisters, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us, Lord, from, a, from any and all religions and belief systems, Lord, where killing one another, Lord, is the answer. When it is not the answer, Heavenly Father, you are the answer, Lord Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Blessed be your holy name. And there's only one way to come to the Father, and that is through the Son. And no one can come to the Father unless he is drawn by the Father. So we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for drawing us all, Heavenly Father, because, Lord Jesus, uh, it is you that has set all the captives free. Who the Son sets free is free indeed in the mighty, almighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we call tonight, Heavenly Father, we lift up for you tonight, Heavenly Father, all the international families, all of our brothers and sisters, Lord God, worldwide, that are standing in the gap, Heavenly Father, that are standing in the need of a miracle, that are standing in the need of resources, Heavenly Father, that are standing in the need, Lord, to have a roof over their heads, to have food in their stomachs tonight. Heavenly Father, we lift up all of our brothers and sisters around the world on all the seven continents. Heavenly Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters in Africa. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Asia, Heavenly Father, in Europe, North America, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. Heavenly Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters in the war-torn Middle East. But there are wars and rumors of wars happening on every continent on this planet. Lord, there are civil wars claiming the lives of thousands of people. Heavenly Father, there are pestilences. Disease is claiming the lives of thousands of people. Heavenly Father, there are famines claiming the lives of millions of people around the world. And we want to lift all of these situations up in the name of Jesus Christ. All of our brothers and sisters on the international front, Lord, that are warring poverty, that are warring disease. Heavenly Father, that are warring, struggling households, Lord, that are not even able to live paycheck to paycheck. Heavenly Father, they have no paycheck at all. They have no clean running water. Uh, they have no clean garments to put on their bodies. They have no pillows to lay down on the beds for they have no beds at all. Heavenly Father, many people only have mud and mud cakes to eat. Heavenly Father, many do not even have that. 
Many of them do not have health care, Lord, health care for the women and children and the men, Lord. Some of them have never seen the doctor in their entire life. So, Heavenly Father, we pray for all of our brothers and sisters around the world and all the seven continents, all the four corners of the world. Uh, we want to pray for everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for your word tells us to pray ye one for another. To pray ye one for another. And we assemble here this night. Heavenly Father, we assemble in this fellowship of companionship, Lord, with one another to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says that if you be lifted up, then you will draw all men unto you. So we thank you tonight, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your truth. Not our truth, Heavenly Father, but we thank you for your truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for any and all migrant families on all seven continents and on this world, all the four corners of the world, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Any family, Lord, that is traveling whatsoever of any reason, Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord God, that they are covered and protected Heavenly Father, and we pray that the wolves, amen, that the wolves do not sneak out amongst the sheep to infiltrate various countries, to cause problems, to bring war and famine. But we pray tonight, Lord, that the people are covered, that the people fleeing war, that the people fleeing oppression, Lord, are safety, Lord. They are mounted up with wings as the eagles to be protected on that road, amen, to salvation, on that road to redemption, because the things that are happening, Lord, are just symbolic. They are just symbolic of the things that are happening in the spiritual realm where the people are under attack, Heavenly Father, and the people of the Lord, the people of God are migrating, Lord, where they are migrating from the plantations of Pharaoh, Heavenly Father. They are migrating, Heavenly Father, to the promised land, to greener, greener grass and better shores, Heavenly Father. So as the people migrate from continent to continent, so are we migrating in the spirit. Migrating in the spirit towards you, Heavenly Father. Migrating in the spirit towards your son, Jesus Christ. Towards the Holy Spirit. Towards the promised land. Towards the word of God. So we pray covering of safety and security over each and every single one of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray today. We pray, Lord, against this mass spirit of violence. We pray against this mass spirit of violence, Lord, that continues to instill itself into young men and women, Lord, that just because someone disagrees with their form of religion, just because someone disagrees of their form of politics, just because someone disagrees with their gender or whatever it is, their skin color, Lord, we pray against that killing and violent spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for none of us, Heavenly Father, has created anything down here, only you. There's only one creator, Heavenly Father, and none of us, Lord, have the right Amen. To take the life of someone else, Lord. For your word says, just as we shed blood, uh, the life of our own shall be shared. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, against, amen, the spirit of violence that continues to wreak itself across the land, that it uh, continues to wreak itself across the world, that continues to wreak itself in our own households, in our own minds and thoughts and spirits. Lord, we want to pray against the very thoughts in our minds, Lord. Where we think about taking the life of one another. We want to pray against, Lord, the thoughts in our minds that talks about taking the life, taking the finances, Heavenly Father, taking relationships away, taking each other's husbands and wives. Well, we want to pray against the spirit of violence in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray against the spirit of violence, Lord, where we continue to war inside the church communities where various people have different denominations, Lord, different belief systems, Lord. We do not want to be taking each other's lives, taking each other's salvation, Lord, uh, assassinating each other's character, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to pray and that we put these things down, Lord, that we return to the throne, Lord, that we return to the throne, prostrate, laying before the almighty God, because it is you, Heavenly Father, that looks at all of us, Lord. Amen. As a fallen people, Lord, you look at all of us, for we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So none of us, Lord, have the right to call anyone in here chosen, uh, for the chosen one is you, Lord Jesus. You are the chosen one. You are the Lamb of God that came, amen, to be both king, uh, to be priest, and sacrifice, and conqueror, and deliverer, all in one in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to pray today, Lord, against the spirit of mass shootings, Lord, against this Enemy, this enemy, Lord, this entity that continues to take the lives of massive amounts of people, Lord. Lord, we want to pray against those imps in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, as we continue to embark, Lord, on this 
month of October, the 10th month of the year. Many are preparing for this Halloween holiday, Lord God. But we want to pray today, Lord, that all of these portals that they are trying to open, Heavenly Father, we pray covering over our own households, Lord, just as in the Passover. Heavenly Father, the households that were covered, amen, by the blood, Lord God, the blood of the Lamb. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that our households, Lord God, will be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every saint, Lord, over every uh, believer in their household, Lord, all of their territory in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that the enemy in those portals stay closed over those households, Lord, over those that believe in the name of Almighty Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray against racism tonight. We want to pray against racism in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to pray against this notion that hatred, hatred uh, and strife and discord uh, and prejudice, Lord, must be extrapolated simply because someone has a different skin color. Lord, no one chose to come into this world, much less none of us chose what skin tone we were going to be. But we rebuke, amen, the enemy, Lord, in our own households, Lord. We rebuke the enemy in our own minds. We rebuke that prejudiceness racist spirit lord god where we are judging each other not because of the actions what we have done uh, but we are judging each other simply because of the skin color lord we are extrapolating all the actions of one group of people onto someone new we do not even know who they are but we simply look at their skin color lord and we judge them lord when none of us wants to be judged by what our ancestors have done lord god none of us wants to be judged by what somebody else has done because there are killers lord in every race uh, there are adulterers in every race uh, there are molesters and abusers in every race so none of us lord can look at a skin color at all lord except one be, be deceived and under the control of the enemy so we pray lord that uh, that divination racism spell lord god is dispelled over your people uh, Lord, we know how the world is, for the world is under the sway of the wicked one. But we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that the spirit of racism and colorism, Lord God, where mothers or fathers are treating their children differently because of their skin tone, Lord, because of their skin complexion, Lord God, we want to pray against that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We call it out. We call it out publicly, Lord, and we point it and we lay it down on your throne in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us not treat one another differently uh, because of our skin complexion. Let us not treat one another differently because of our gender, Lord. Everyone should be treated, Heavenly Father, amen, according uh, to how though they want to be loved. For your word says that we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, and all our soul. And then we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, Heavenly Father, your word says that uh, our neighbor or everyone, Heavenly Father, everyone, Lord, in our community, everyone that is outside the community. Uh, so we want to pray, Lord, that we have a spirit of love to love one another, Lord, regardless, amen, of our skin tone, regardless, Heavenly Father, of our gender. Let this gender war, Heavenly Father, that has continued to be appropriated, Lord, by this world, that has continued to be appropriated and encouraged, amen, by the enemy. We pray, Lord, that it ends in our households. But we know the world is the world. But we pray that these things do not infiltrate the churches, do not infiltrate our places of worship, do not infiltrate our households, Lord, let the politics of the world stay in the world. For as we search for political solutions to these things, there is none. Because there is no political solution, Heavenly Father, where there is a spiritual problem, where the origination is a spiritual problem, and it is. Because we have turned away from the Lord our God. We have turned toward the bells, Heavenly Father. People have turned toward the bells and the idol gods and idol worship. And skin tone and skin color is an idol, Heavenly Father. Worship of one's culture and being is an idol, Heavenly Father. Worship of one's gender, male or female, and hoisting them up as the kings and queens of the earth. Lord, these are idols, Heavenly Father, that we want and need deliverance from in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for as parents, as leaders in the community, if we do not confront these things, the children, amen, the children will be left vulnerable, Heavenly Father, to these imps, to these portals. So we pray that these portals are closed in the name of Jesus Christ because your word says very clearly uh, that there is neither Jew nor Gentile, male nor female, but all are one within Christ Jesus. So why do we war? Heavenly Father, why do the nations rage? Why do we fight over positioning of our roles on here on earth? Why do we fight it, Lord, when your word clearly tells us that in the end, there's going to be neither Jew nor Gentile, male nor female. 
but all are one within Christ Jesus. Uh, for the eyes of the Lord are in every place, and that's who searches the heart and tested the mind, bringing every thing, Lord, into captivity, all thoughts and deeds into your judgment. For every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father. We thank you tonight for your truth, for that truth, for your revelation the revelation of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight for protection against all inclement weather, Heavenly Father, all inclement weather around the world where people are still battling the elements. People are still battling the, the elements, Heavenly Father. People are battling, Lord, floods. People are battling hurricanes, Lord, and typhoons, Lord, and snowstorms and blizzards, avalanches and earthquakes. Heavenly Father, people are battling pestilences tonight. People are battling heat. Well, there are famines, Heavenly Father, across the world, Lord, where crops are not growing. There's a lack of food, a shortage of food. This is causing people to leave. This is causing people to leave and migrate with their families towards greener shores. So we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ as we pray, as we pray, Heavenly Father. Amen. We pray for all of our brothers and sisters in this inclement weather in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we pray tonight, Lord, for healing. We lift up, Lord God, our voices. We lift up, Lord, all our loved ones tonight. But we know there are many, Lord, who are in need of a deliverance. Heavenly Father, as we bring breast cancer, Lord, and cancer in general aware, awareness, Lord, to the land, we want to lift them all up to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, all those who are suffering, all those new uh, diagnoses, Lord God. We pray for a good prognosis for every single one of them. But we want to bring them to your attention, Heavenly Father. But we know you see all and know all. Uh, but we still intercede, Lord, and uh, stand in the gap for all of our brothers and sisters that are suffering from cancer, Lord, and these diseases, Lord God. We want to lift them all up to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare right now that they are healed. We decree and declare right now, Heavenly Father, that the physicians have new medical treatments. For we know, Heavenly Father, you are Jehovah Rapha, our healer. You are the Lord, that uh, that God that heals us, Lord God. It is not uh, simply by our medications, Lord. It is because of you, Almighty God. For it is you, Heavenly Father, that created the world. It is you, Heavenly Father, that created the plants, Lord God, and the medicines, Lord God, uh, and the remedies, Lord Jesus. It is you, Heavenly Father, that have created these things for all of us. And we know, Lord, that you choose to heal one, Lord, by speaking the word. You choose to heal another, Lord by spitting on the ground. You choose to heal another one, Lord, by telling them to rise, pick up their bed, and walk. And then you choose to heal others, Lord, with medications. You use physicians, Heavenly Father, as your servants, Lord. You use doctors and physical therapists, Lord, and oncologists, Lord, and cardiologists and neurologists. You use all of these as your servants, Heavenly Father, to heal us all. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ for anyone, Heavenly Father, for any and everyone that is suffering, Lord God, any and everyone that is suffering from any ailment, any and everyone that is suffering from any disease, any affliction, anyone that is bedridden right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for those that cannot get up out of the bed. We pray for those that are bed bound. We pray for those that are bending over when they can, when they are walking, Lord, they are, they have a deformity in their back, Lord God. They have a deformity in their legs, and feet and ankles and knees and hips and joints. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, healing for them in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We uh, rebuke uh, the enemy, the spirit of infirmity over their bodies. We rebuke, Heavenly Father, the spirit of paralysis, Lord God, the spirit of paralysis. We want to cast out any and all demons, Heavenly Father, that are causing anything, Lord, to possess these children. Lord God, we pray for the health, the mental health of the children. Heavenly Father, many of our brothers and sisters are special needs. Lord, they have special needs, special ailments. So we want to pray tonight for them, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for their caretakers. For there are many without caretakers, but we want to pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, for those that are sacrificing their own lives and careers to take care of loved ones, Lord. We pray for them. We pray for the resources that they need, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for them. We want to pray for them and intercede for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to continue to lift up those that need healing. We want to continue to lift up those that are enduring chemotherapy right now, Lord. Those that are enduring radiation. Those that are losing their hair. Those that are losing their limbs. Lord God, those that are becoming weaker by the day. Uh, those that are losing weight, 
and precipitously, Lord, those that are dropping, Lord, their form, but for many are undergoing treatment, Lord, so powerful, they do not even look the same. So we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, healing over them. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that all the cancers, Lord Jesus, uh, are not metastasizing. Heavenly Father, we pray that these things are in remission, that they are on the run. And on the run from the spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to pray, rebuke, amen, the enemy, wherever that enemy is, Lord God, even the enemy that is infiltrating the minds of the sick, Lord God, we want to pray for hope tonight. We want to pray, Lord, that the sick have not lost hope, not because there is nothing, Lord, amen, that is impossible for you, Lord. If you had an office, Lord, with a shingle on the outside, you specialize in the impossible, Lord. You are a specialist. You specialize in anything. You specialize in all things. There is nothing that is impossible for you to do. So we lift up our brothers and sisters to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to call out cancer today. We want to call out not only for all forms of heart disease, all form of heart palpitations, Lord God, heart murmur, all sorts of irregular heartbeat in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray against Alzheimer's, Lord God, uh, schizophrenia, Heavenly Father. We want to pray against brain tumors and aneurysms. We pray against bone disease, bone degenerate disease, Lord, rheumatoid arthritis, Lord God. We want to pray against osteoporosis, any uh, degenerating of the bones, Heavenly Father. We pray for an infusion of calcium and vitamin D in the body in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray against strokes, Heavenly Father, in seizures, Lord God, we want to pray against depression and anxiety, any form of emotional instability, Lord, nervousness, Lord. We want to pray against phobias and fears in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the enemy not keep the people paralyzed and stricken down with fear. Lord, we pray against paranoia. We pray against the paranormal, Heavenly Father, things that continue to keep people bound and in fear. For, Lord, you are in control. It is you, Heavenly Father, that created all the realms, including the spiritual realms. It is you, Heavenly Father, that created all the spirits. And we pray tonight that all of these spirits are subjected to your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. All spirits, Heavenly Father, are subjected to your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you tonight, Lord God, for this truth. Lord God, we pray against angers, Lord, and temper those that are sinning in their anger, Lord God. We pray for anger management and temper management, temper control in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we want to pray against hemorrhoids. We want to pray, Lord, against the pulmonary system. We want to pray that any ailment that hurts the pulmonary system, Lord, our lungs, our trachea, Lord, our thyroid, any of our breathing apparatuses, Lord God, we want to thank you for healing them, Lord. We want to thank you for healing our immune systems tonight, Lord God. We thank you for rebuking any and all autoimmune disease, any and all lupus, any and all anything, Lord, where the body continues to attack itself in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we want to pray for the digestive systems, Lord God. We want to pray against ulcers, against peptic diseases, Lord. We want to pray, Lord, against bypasses, Lord, against anything that is affecting the stomach, the liver, small intestines and large intestines. Lord, we pray against colon cancer, colon disease, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against liver cancer, Lord God. We pray against issues of the gallbladder, Lord God, and the kidneys. We thank you for healing the urinary system, the urinary tract. Any and everyone that is on dialysis, Lord God, we pray for a healing in their kidneys. Lord God, anyone that is dealing with any sort of blockages, Lord, any sort of kidney stones, gall stones, Lord God, we pray a healing in all of their vessels and tubes in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray uh, for the endocrine system, Lord God, the system dealing with our hormones. Lord, we want to lift this up to you. We want to pray for a balancing of our hormones. Let us not be led astray, Lord. Let us not be driven, Heavenly Father, simply based on what we feel. But let us, Heavenly Father, be led by our faith in you. Uh, for you are Jehovah Nisi. You are our banner, Heavenly Father. You are, Heavenly Father, our uh, our marching order. So we thank you, Lord, for being covered, covered under your banner, Lord God, the banner of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for our uh, central nervous systems, our automatic nervous systems, Lord God. We want to pray that our nerves, Heavenly Father, are calm. We pray peace, a peace to our nerves in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us not be nervous, Lord God, and full of anxiety of what's to come. Heavenly Father, let us be calm just as you were asleep on the boat as the waves rocked the ship back and forth. Lord God, we pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ, a peace and the calm, amen, in the raging storms of the seas, Lord God. We pray that we are calm because we know that all we need to do is be still and wait on the salvation of the Lord. 
for it is you, Heavenly Father, that is in control of the raging Category 5 hurricane. It is you, Heavenly Father, that is in control of the F5 tornado. It is you, Lord God, that is in control and the peace uh, of that mighty avalanche that is rolling down those glaciers and uh, the earthquakes that are raging and destroying the land. You, Heavenly Father, are peace. At peace, you are a small, still voice. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your truth. We thank you for healing our nervous system. Lord God, we pray for the skin today. We pray for the skin diseases, Lord. We want to pray, Lord, healing over all those that are suffering from skin lesions and blisters. We pray for the small children around the world, Heavenly Father, that are suffering from blisters, Lord God, on their skin. We pray a healing for those who are suffering uh, from leprosy in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray a healing, Lord. We pray, Lord, that their skin is covered uh, by the Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, that wherever the enemy and the legions have leashed onto the skin, whether it be the lice or whatever it is that's causing these things, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, a healing, a healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we want to pray against birth defects. We want to pray against you for every child, Lord, that is born on this planet. We pray, Lord, that they are healed of these birth defects, Lord, and these deformities, Lord, uh, any sorts of disease, Lord, autism, Lord, and all sorts of diseases, Lord, that are getting a hold of the children in the womb, Lord God, where the enemy is continuously putting strongholds, generational strongholds and curses, even in the womb. But we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that your warring angels are continually warring, Lord, for these children, even the ones that are not yet born in the in the womb. We pray, Lord, that they are protected in the infirmaries. We pray that your warring angels are dispatched, Lord, in the heavenlies, Lord, in the heavenly regions to protect the children, the small infants, Lord, that are being born around this world. Many are being encouraged, Heavenly Father, to be brainwashed, Lord, into terrorism. Many of them are being encouraged, Heavenly Father, to believe false false belief systems. But we want to pray for their minds. We want to pray, Lord God, not just against physical birth defects, but we pray against spiritual birth defects in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up to you tonight all your pa uh, pastors, all your apostles, your messengers, your prophets, your evangelists, your preachers all around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to lift up those that are close to home, Lord God. We want to lift up Apostle Don from Jones and the Bethel Worship uh, Family Center. Lord, we want to lift her and her family up children and grandchildren and the entire Bethel family, Lord God. We lift up it in all of its branches in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to lift up all the congregations, Lord God. We want to lift up all of those, Lord, who are your elect, who are doing your word, carrying your banner for, Lord, carrying the message of Jesus Christ, the message of love and redemption and salvation, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight for Aunt missionary Lily Stenbridge in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing her. We want to lift up the Ross family tonight. We want to lift up tonight, Heavenly Father, the Pickens family. Lord God, we want to lift up the Evans family, the Richardsons family, the Crunshaws, the Olivers. Lord God, we want to lift up the Ties tonight. Lord God, we want to lift up the Frambroes, Lord Heavenly Father. We want to lift up the Evans, Heavenly Father. We want to lift up all of our families, Lord God, the Clarks, the Greens, in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to lift up all of our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave no stone unturned in this family, Lord God. We pray and lift up Casey Roberts, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for Minister Latrina Cope, Talia, Mary and their family, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for Shamia Powell, Heavenly Father. We keep covering Catherine Hunter in the name of Jesus Christ. Desiree Davis, Perilyn Minor, amen. The Spence and Singleton family, Heavenly Father. The family of the Swains, Lord. We want to lift up the Wade family, Lord God. We lift up Sister Shea Wallace and family. Scott and Jeanette Smith. We lift up Loyalty Johnson, Carolyn Carter, Miss Debbie Rock in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up Minister Eliza Collins and all of her family, Lord God, all of her household. Heavenly Father, we lift up Elder Anne and family, Elder Wanda, Elder Gwen and family. Heavenly Father, we lift up Pastor Bryant and family, Lord God. We want to lift up the Adams family in the name of Jesus Christ, the Wards in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Minister Hernandez and family. Heavenly Father, we lift up... Uh, Elder, the, the Laborde family in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we lift up Elder Lorraine Trim, Marlene Trim, Camille Trim. Lord God, we call out these names, our brothers and sisters to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to lift up uh, tonight Minister Landy Phillips, Minister Wilcox and family. Lord, Minister Tia and Renee Pope, Heavenly Father, Brother Bernard Childs and family. Mia and Cornelius Goldwire, we lift up Kevin, Heavenly Father. We lift up little Kevin. We lift up uh, little KJ in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up Noah Lucas. 
the War family, Sister Greta Sims and family, uh, Miss Melissa Falo and family. We lift up Becky McCall and family. We lift up Heavenly Father Lisa, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin, and Miss Malay Grandma Jimmy Marie Lewis in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Gary, uh, Larry Gaskin, uh, Mr. Jim's cousin. We want to pray for salvation. We want to pray for salvation for Robert Lord. We want to reach out and touch him wherever he is in the spirit. Heavenly Father, to bring him on board, uh, to bring him on board with the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Larry Foles tonight. We pray for Willie King. We want to pray for Eastside Elementary. Heavenly Father, we lift up King High School. We lift up Leonard High School, Lord God. We lift up Edison Elementary. We lift up Bear Lakes Elementary. Lord God, we lift up all of these schools in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over the administrative staffs. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord, for Mr. Williamson in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, for all those teachers and administrative staffs, Lord, uh, that are standing in the gap for these children. Children, Lord, that are standing in harm's way, giving their careers, sacrificing their finances, sacrificing themselves for the protection, Lord, of the young ones, Lord, for the protection of the little ones. We want to pray covering in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, covering from all temptations whatsoever, Heavenly Father. Keep us covered, Lord, covered under your shield, under your banner, in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for any and everyone that is standing in the need of healing that is standing in the need of deliverance, that is standing in the need, Lord, of redemption, Lord God, that's standing in the need of hope. Some of us just need hope. So we pray for them. We pray and decree and declare that they are healed by faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for all those who are constantly in bereavement and mourning. Heavenly Father, those that are in constant bereavement and mourning of their loved ones. Lord God, we want to pray again for our brothers and sisters that have special needs. We lift up our voices tonight, Lord, for those that are in need of prayer, uh, that are home, uh, homeless, uh, those that are hungry, those that have no food, those that have no resources, Heavenly Father. We pray over all of our finances, Lord, for the enemy, uh, the devourer, Lord, is out to kill, steal, and to destroy, to steal the harvest. In these harsh economic times where everything is increasing, Lord God, everything is becoming more expensive, we pray, Heavenly Father, for a way out of no way. We pray, Heavenly Father. Uh, for that you turn around, Lord, that you take our oil that we have, Lord, and our lamps, and that you keep it going so that we can feed our families, Lord God. We pray tonight, covering for all children around the world. We want to pray covering for them, covering for their minds, Lord God, covering, Lord, for uh, their innocence, Heavenly Father. We want to pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, that wherever they are being held captive against their will, wherever they are being held, Lord God, we want to pray. Lord, healing for them. We want to pray, Lord, deliverance for them, Lord. We want to pray, Lord, that they are protected, protected from the evil ones, Lord, Heavenly Father, protected from those who will do will, ill will against them and do them abuse. We pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, that you find a will, that you open the doors, Lord, so they can escape that captivity, uh, so that they are protected, Lord, from the abusers, Lord. Uh, so we want to thank you, Lord, for covering them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for the people caught in the human sex trafficking industry, those that are caught, uh, whether they're young or old, the people, Lord, that are in need of rescue, Lord God, and those that are responsible for these things. We pray, Lord, for the men and the women who are responsible, Lord, that they stop these things, turn themselves in in the name of Jesus Christ and go and sin no more. Uh, for the harvesting of people, Lord, the gathering of people to use for ill will purposes, Lord, is a violation, Lord, of your law, a violation of your commandments. For your word says that we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, Lord God, we pray, Lord, that we treat one another, Lord, as you have wanted us to be treated. Not as what we want have to have people treat us, but we want to pray, Heavenly Father, amen, that we love as you love, Heavenly Father. Uh, that we learn, Lord, to get along, Lord, as you have called us to get along, Lord, not to be at war with one another, uh, to, the, to, to do away with these things, Lord, to, put, to do away with the jealousies, Lord, and the envies, the envies, the strifes, and the discords. Lord God, so we want to pray against ungodly relationships, against ungodly soul ties. For many of the jealousy spirits, Lord, many of the envious spirits are derived from ungodly relationships with things, no matter what it is, Lord. If we have an ungodly, unhealthy relationship with movies or music or literatures or dancing or whatever it is, Heavenly Father, we want to pray deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let us not be addicted to ungodly relationships, Lord, where we are opening portals into our souls and in our bodies uh, to be joined with people we are not to be joined with, Lord. Uh, so we want to pray a deliverance from those who are stuck, those who are addicted, those, Lord, who are 
uh, in love with something and someone that they are not supposed to be in. We pray a breaking and a binding in the name of Jesus Christ of these things. We pray, Lord, that we are loosed, amen, from these relationships. Lord, let not the enemy continue to keep us bound, uh, bound in a loveless relationship and a godless relationship. Uh, let us be drawn to the things that are of God. Let us be drawn, Lord, tonight, right now, tonight. Tonight is the night for deliverance, Heavenly Father. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that we are delivered, Lord God, from these generational strongholds of ungodly soul ties. We pray, Lord, as you heal us, that we bind up in the name of Jesus Christ, any of these relationships, Lord God, we pray that as those portals are closed, we want to pray, Lord, that no new portals are entering, Lord, or opening. Just as we, we in one generational stronghold, here comes another one, Lord, that looks just like it or looks similar. Uh, so we want to pray against these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray covering for ourselves, covering for each other in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray uh, for those who are suffering from addictions, those that are suffering from ungodly addictions. We pray that they are being changed, transformed by the renewing of their mind to now, Heavenly Father, uh, to be addicted to the word of God. We pray for healthy addictions. We pray for godly addictions. We pray that they are addicted to your word. We pray, Lord, they are addicted to service for the king, Heavenly Father, you, almighty God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we are addicted to love, the love of Christ. Amen. The love you want for another, not a sexual carnal love, but we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for brotherly love. Your word says, let brotherly love continue in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for protection from all supernatural forces, all natural forces. Heavenly Father, we thank you for covering us on these roads, these highways and byways. Heavenly Father, we thank you for covering the children, covering the teachers at these schools. Heavenly Father, we thank you for covering those who are working in law enforcement, those that are working in the prison systems every night. Heavenly Father, those that are coming face to face with killers. Lord God, those that are in our military, Lord, those that are in our fire departments and our medical staffings. Lord, we pray for our nurses. We pray for every custodian, Lord God. We pray for every principal, every administrator. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that the schools are covered that the schools are protected, Heavenly Father, but we pray for an alertness, Lord God, in these schools to be alerted towards where the enemy is, Lord God, that the enemy can be intercepted and taken out in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us from the spirit of entitlement tonight. We thank you for delivering us from the spirit of entitlement. Amen. For your word says that no weapon, no weapon at all formed against us shall prosper in every tongue, every uh, amen. Every gossiping, lying tongue that comes up against us, Lord, shall be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ, because this is the heritage. This is the heritage of the children of the Lord. So we thank you tonight, Lord, for this heritage. We thank you tonight for this heritage. We thank you tonight, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your perspective as we pray for a new perspective. We pray for the our minds to be re-innovated in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your wisdom tonight. We pray, Lord, for your wisdom. We pray, Lord, for your wisdom, Heavenly Father. We pray for your knowledge, Lord Jesus. We pray for understanding, for your word says, and all your getting to get understanding. So we pray for the understanding of Jesus Christ tonight, for you are our role model, Heavenly Father. Uh, you are, Lord Jesus, amen, our model on how we are to do our lives. So we pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for uh, this deliverance, for this healing, for this infusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for opening the eyes of the blind, not just the physically blind, the spiritually blind. We pray for those that are not spiritually blind, Lord, to, to wake up to the things that are happening around us, Lord God, so that we study not just the, the beginning of things, but we study the end as well. Heavenly Father, let us focus, Lord, on a full view of the gospel of Jesus Christ so that we are not to be deceived by the enemy being led astray by the things that we want and how do we want things to turn out, Lord. Let us focus on what is, Heavenly Father, and your word is, for your word was, your word is, and your word is to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord, again uh, for all of the widows, the prisoners, and the orphans, those that are suffering because they have lost their loved ones. Heavenly Father, through no fault of their own, those that are suffering, Heavenly Father, simply because, amen, the color of their skin, those that are suffering because of socioeconomic concerns, Lord God, but we want to pray, Lord, a rescue, and we want to pray, Lord, a deliverance and a healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your miracle signs and wonders. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your miracle signs and wonders. And we want to thank you, Lord, uh, because we are only here because of you. Uh, by your stripes, Heavenly Father, we are healed. For the chastisement of our peace was upon you. You gave it all up, Heavenly Father. 
gave up us your son your son jesus christ has given us his everything lord you have given us lord your body lord uh, to be broken lord to be bruised for the remission for the appropriation of all of our sins so we want to thank you lord we want to thank you lord for what you have done for us for no one has done such a gift for anyone heavenly father none of us heavenly father who among us lord would uh, give our lives heavenly father lord uh, a people lord uh, that are spitting and 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 and, and, and not uh, acknowledging heavenly father the gift amen that you have given us in the name of jesus christ so we thank you tonight lord and we acknowledge you we acknowledge you tonight because we would not be here lord without you and we thank you heavenly father for gathering us all up heavenly father from around the world lord to meet and to convene in the name of jesus christ lord god we thank you lord for your warm oil of anointing we thank you heavenly father for your warm oil of anointing that you pour from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet so we want to thank you lord jesus we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for being the Lord, our God, because beside you, Heavenly Father, there he is no other. So we thank you tonight, Lord Jesus. And we want to pray for every man, woman, and child that is in attendance. We pray for every man, woman, and child that is in attendance tonight. We pray and lift up your mighty, holy, mighty name, Lord Jesus. And we want to thank you uh, for the healings tonight. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, that our storehouses, all of our storehouses, Lord, are filled with overflow of prosperity. We declare breakthroughs and victory in the name of Jesus Christ and all of their names. And Heavenly Father, we thank you. Uh, may the blessings of the Lord keep us and overtake all of us with your overflowing abundant grace under the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for taking the time out of your busy night, your busy week, amen, to join us for intercessory prayer, because we all need prayer, brothers and sisters. The Bible says, pray ye one for another, and every time we are gathered here together tonight to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, amen, we are obeying his commands, and we are interceding and standing in the gap for one another in the name of Jesus Christ. Please continue to join us on Facebook on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. for prayer. On Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for Bible study and Sunday mornings at 11.30 a.m. for Sunday morning service. Uh, if you would like to have anyone or anything added to this prayer uh, re uh, request list every Tuesday nights, please submit your information to Revelation of Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. That's Revelation of Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. And please visit our YouTube channel at Revelation of Warfare Ministries. Revelation of Warfare Ministries. We thank you, brothers and sisters, each of you for joining us tonight brothers and sisters i am minister john pickens with revelational ministries and i would like to thank you again for joining us for prayer and intercession and the word tonight all of you have a very blessed night and a very blessed week thank you